Once upon a time, in one lonely village of Norwich near London, there used to live a family of pigs. Father Pig was a hard-working person and mother took care of the family. But the three pigs never did much work. Ugh. Mom, pass me the milk. One day, the father lost his patience. You naughty kids. You live in my home and never help with any work. You're too big now and you must lead your own life. You're big enough to be on your own now. Fine. We'll go at this moment. We'll go and live together. Not just one. We'll have three homes. I want a home of my own. I will build mine. So the three pigs left. The mother looked in concern, but didn't speak. The pigs crossed the hill. come to a beautiful valley which they found perfect to settle. I'll build my house out of straw. That way I can do it quickly and go play! I'll build my house out of sticks. When it's done, I can come play too. Silly brothers! A house is not just a shade. It needs to protect you. I want to build a strong home like Papa made. They all started making their houses as planned. Many days went by. A wolf happened to see the little pigs playing in the valley. Wow, look at those yummy pigs. Let's check what all we can cook out of pigs today. Hmm, roasted, grilled, pork chops, pepperoni. I think I'll make a soup with some finely shredded yummy pigs. I am ready. Let me go and get a fresh pig right now. He went to the first straw house and knocked on the door. Little pig? Little pig? Won't you let me in? Oh, uh, wolf? No, I won't let you in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Well then, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf let out a huge roar and the first piglet's straw home blew apart and scattered across the hillside. The pig ran as fast as possible. He saw his brother's home and ran into it. He locked the door as soon as he got in. Doofus, what's wrong, bro? Did you, you see some ghost? Wolf, he, he blew my house away. The wolf? Oh, no. Little pigs, little pigs, won't you let me in? It's almost dinner time. Hey, I'm a pig, not bacon. Go find your food elsewhere. We won't let you in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Fair enough. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. The wolf roared even harder this time, and the second pig's wood home crumbled. Both the pigs ran for their lives. Look at the huge home. Run to it. Faster. Both the pigs ran as fast as they could and ran inside the home and slammed the door behind them. Welcome home, brothers. This is the home that I've been working for so long. Help, sis. The wolf is behind us. He's gonna blow your home down. Well, don't just sit there. Do something. Relax. Just help me shift this heavy stone on the door. They placed the heavy stone to block the door. The wolf arrived and banged the door furiously. So much running on an empty tummy. Ugh. Another house. Little pig. Little pig. Won't you let me in? Never. Not by hair of my brother's chinny chin chin. Ugh. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf let out a huge roar, but the piglet's house didn't budge. The wolf tried again and again, but he couldn't blow down the last house. Determined not to give up, the wolf climbs up the chimney of the house, and he tries to get in. Hey, someone's coming down the chimney! No problemo. Let's just light some fire. The fire burned quickly and burnt the wolf's backside. He ran out ah! of the chimney as fast as he could. So 
brothers. I hope you got your message. A home that can't protect you from danger is not a good home. No shortcuts. Uh, anybody want a wolf soup? Oh! No! Oh! Ah! The wolf ran away from the valley and was never seen after that day.